as cautions i definitely understand that we're trying to eat healthy but sometimes it doesn't always work out so we're always buying ramen to eat because it's cheap well i'm going to show you a recipe how to make ramen a little bit healthier but also still save money so this recipe is one package of ramen noodles the recipe calls for a half of a green cabbage head and half of a red cabbage head and then you could throw in carrots if you want but i went ahead and bought this pre-chopped up coleslaw packaging just to save time and it was cheaper to buy all this pre-chopped than to go ahead and buy all the uh, ingredients separately you'll also need distilled white vinegar vegetable oil and white granulated Take sugar spoon. half a cup a pot of boiling water for your ramen in a bowl to mix your rest, the other ingredients in. What you want is to take it and have it go from this hard to about this soft. Depends on who you are. I just kind of went a little bit, not super rough, where it was all just crumbs, but enough to be still pretty long noodles. You want your ramen noodles to go from this hard to about this soft. Just super flimsy. It doesn't really need to be all the way crushed to dust, but enough to fit in the pot. Step is to get a pot of boiling water. And as it sits on the stove, waiting to boil, grab your ramen noodles and crush it up. As we wait for the water to boil, grab your pretty chopped up coleslaw, or if you went ahead and bought the heads and the carrots, and you already chopped them up, put them in a bowl. You'd probably want a good medium-sized bowl, about this big, because you have a few ingredients. you probably want another bowl and you want to keep this package with you as it's also going to be added what into you're the you're going to do is take your package of ramen the chicken flavoring that is what i got add it into a bowl then you're going to take your half cup of vegetable oil and add it in the boiling water and that's going to sit and cook now you're going to have three tablespoons of sugar it's one. There's your second. And your third. Now there's already one teaspoon uh, or tablespoon of <laughs> white vinegar in it. So we're gonna add in two more and then we're gonna whisk it together. So now we have all our ingredients added together. And so we're just gonna whisk it. So it should come out looking more liquidy and this kind of yellowy look. Make sure everything is whisked together. Your sugar, your packet, with the oil and the vinegar. Now that it's all whisked together, you want to drain your noodles. And I'm going to use my lid that has straining holes in it. But you could use a normal strainer. It's just I had little smaller pieces and I didn't want them all to fall out. So we're going to use the lid. It's all drained. You want to add your noodles to your cabbage. Then we're going to take our dressing that we made earlier and we're going to add it to our You want to pour it all over your mixture and then mix it together. Your whole dish will look like this. And this is how you can make your ramen a little bit healthier. I hope everyone learned a lot from this video and that they are going to have a great time trying out 
a new healthier way to eat ramen in college.